Hey guys, I hope you're having a good start to your day. So one thing I did want to come on in and kind of talk about and kind of just give you a raw and real story today about what the process of working with an intuitive eating dietitian really looks like behind the scenes. Because I you know I get so many questions about this, so I thought I'd just answer this for you guys today. So in my practice, I have the one-on-one coaching and I also have private group coaching, okay? So once you start one-on-one coaching, what we do is we do set up a one-on-one discovery call to make sure that not not only is this going to be a good fit for you, but that you know you and I are going to be a good fit. Having that communication together is going to be so key for your long-term success and healing your relationship with food in your body. So we do that first, and then we decide if one-on-one coaching or group coaching is going to be the better fit for you and your needs. And then with one-on-one coaching, what we do is we do have an initial, initial consultation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dive into your we're gonna go over your history, your nutrition, what that's looking like for you right now. Um, and we're gonna take a, just a thorough in-depth approach to food, your body image and exercise because it's not just about the food it's about everything else and i personally like to take a more holistic approach because if i don't know your history where you're at right now and your goals we're gonna be like spinning our wheels not really sure what we're trying to achieve here so i do take a really holistic approach with my clients and outside of our sessions which we're gonna have every other week you're gonna have access to your own private client portal and so this is going to be where you have any, if you have any questions, if you need support, if there's anything on your mind that you need to show me or share with me throughout the week, you have access to that in your client portal. I do the same onboarding process with my group coaching clients and we typically do start off with a little one-on-one -on -one coaching first and then kind of make that transition over to a group model because I really want to make sure that I get to know you to your core and that I place you into a group that's going to be the best fit for you. So I do have little subset groups in Nourish to Thrive. It's not just like this big group coaching dynamic just because I find that when we have these smaller group settings, it's a lot more beneficial for you and your experience being in Nourish to Thrive, that rather than just having this huge group where you're not really getting that connection that you would get in a smaller knit group. So typically these groups are between five to eight women, no more than that, just because again, I want you to have that community, that support, and that your, your voice is heard during our sessions. I also get questions as to who do I work with? Who do I serve in my coaching? And it really does run on a spectrum because I never want somebody to feel like because they don't fit into this tiny little box that they don't need to get coaching or that they don't need help. And so just overall, I do work with people who have a history of an eating disorder, chronic dieters who are ready to improve their relationship with food, anybody who struggles with a missing period or digestive issues as a result of the restrictive eating. So it does run on a spectrum and based off what you're struggling with, again, I'm going to place you where you're best fitted. And so this could be restrictive eating, it could be binge eating, emotional eating, um, tracking macros, wanting to go from tracking to intuitive eating. So that really is more of the general sense of who I work with. And the one thing with group coaching is that I only have enrollment open a couple times a year just because we do have to ideally start at the same time so that you're on the same same pathway as everybody else. And so right now I'm looking for about five more women who are going to join me this month for group coaching. So if you are interested and you want to learn more, let me know, tap right here and I can send you more information and we can talk about if this is the right fit for you. It is, it is important to take the time for yourself and do it. And I'll say that like getting through this program and I'm super skeptical usually of doing this, this kind of stuff, especially like online and like meeting people you see even on like social media. Like I am super like, am I getting the real deal here? You know what I mean? So being super skeptical of that, I came into it with faith, but not entirely no, like not being skeptical. And I have to say that this program really did help me change my mindset over everything and really work towards actually changing my relationship to food for long term, not short term, not a quick result. It like actually gave me the foundational tools to be able to rethink how I look at food, how I look at myself, um, like how I look at my body. Um, so yeah. It really helped me in opening my eyes um, to the cycle I was in. Um, 
And like I said, even not restricting, I was in such a restrictive mindset that I didn't, that I didn't even know. And, you know, 16 weeks is a long time. But when you look at it in the sum of my entire life, it's not that long to see such a change that I have. Because re- for me, I'm a the rest of my life thinker. I instantly go to that place where it's like, oh my God, I now I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Um, and that automatically, you know, makes me want to, it discourages me to do something. So if anyone out there is thinking about trying this, but they don't, you know, they're afraid they're going to be struggling with this the rest of their life, you know, 16 weeks is a short amount of time to see the change that could change the rest of your life.